That bit Jimmy B then went crazy, huh? That bit Jimmy said, you need me! Nigga, you need me! <laughs> Man, look at that whole situation, bro. The Timberwolves was supposed to be better. Point blank, period. Andrew Wiggins ain't living up to his potential, bro. Cars in the towns, putting in work. Putting in work. But I don't know. I don't know, bro. Because you can't say he ain't got that dog in him. You know what I'm saying? And these cats cat go get you 20, 20 and 10, 20 and 12. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, but there's something in practice that Jimmy see that we don't see. Unless he really want to get the fuck up out there. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> other than that, bro, man, nobody can tell Jimmy Butler how to feel. You know what I'm saying? Kawhi put on a fit and got the fuck up out of San Antonio. But, you know what I'm saying? Jimmy did, Jimmy did the same thing, but a little bit little bit different. But he's he still up. But it's a little bit little bit different. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was strategic. I agree with you, Nick, right? I agree. It seems strategic. Hey, I'm ready to talk. I got an interview. Y'all come do an interview with me Wednesday. They say Jimmy went in that bit, picked up four people you, you ain't never heard of. And dominated against against everybody else. What the fuck that tell you? Now, keep in mind, this is the same team. You got Cat, you got Taj Gibson, you got, all right, I know people, you still got Derrick Rose, you got Jamal Crawford, you got Andrew Wiggins, you got, uh, you got T, you got Jeff T, you feel what I'm saying? So, you have, you have a lot of good players on that team, you know what I'm saying? We all know Taj Gibson is a defender, rebounder. Cool, cool. That's his job. That's his role. Do you? But Cat can give me 20, 20 plus and twelve, easy. Wiggins, I don't know what the fuck. This, this is for you, bro. Cause I, I think Jimmy mad at you, son. Cause I don't know what the fuck you been doing, bro. You was supposed to. You thought, bro. Jimmy, I understand, Jimmy. Fuck, I understand, Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? You go twice as hard as everybody else. And now it's a whole new year. And you expect, you know what I'm saying, you took it to a whole nother level. And now you say, hey, we have a team to make a run in this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and put this shit together. Let's let's start now. And shit. <laughs> Y'all respect that man's mind, son. I understand that man want to win. You know what I mean? He want to win. He want to do it his way. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like like today earlier. I I, uh, I was on first things first, and I heard him talking about uh, Kevin Love and Kyrie's interview and stuff like that. Man, them, them people didn't say he wanted to leave LeBron. He said it was dog times. Of course it could be dog times. You know what I'm saying? You think every day is like gonna be fucking <laughs> bright and sunny? Fuck, what you mean? Your man spoke his mind. Respect Kevin Love mind for speaking his mind. Fuck, he, LeBron is great. Every day, say you think every day was great with Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Every day was great with Magic. Kareem? No. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? Good. Hey, thank you, Kevin Love, for not being afraid to speak your mind. You know what I'm saying? You were honest. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? The only crazy part about the whole thing is how the news article spoke, that he dove so deeply into the negative and, you know what I'm saying, and just promoted the, the negative part of what he said. Like, it were dark times. There were dark times, but he said there were a lot of great times. Like, don't. Okay, like anybody, anybody, any normal person would see that's like any other fucking relationship or anything, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be dark times. You know what I mean? And then Kyrie, I'm saying, I understand Kyrie, Kyrie won his own team. Like, Kyrie, I'm not mad at you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm like, it was stupid for the fucking Cavaliers to trade you to the, to the Boston Celtics. I'd have traded your dumb ass to the West, to the, to the Phoenix Suns or somebody. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> I'd have sent your ass. Well, I'd have sent your ass somewhere. Blah, 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 blah. I'd have added a whole other team. The Alaskan, whatever, whatever. And sent this, like, doo, 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 doo. Get your ass out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'd have sent your ass to the West in the first place. But that's neither here nor there. That's done with now. Stupid. That's why the, that's why the Cavs, GMs, that's why the Cavs were fucking stupid. 
You know what I'm saying? I like Cullen Sexton as the uh as they pick, you know what I'm saying? I like I like his aggressiveness. I like I like you know what I'm saying? I, I just I love how he asserts himself. But like as far as the Cleveland Cavaliers and their front office, y'all ain't been shit since for years, bro. I'm gonna be real with y'all, son. Cause why the fuck would you trade this man? I always wanted to say, why the fuck would you trade Kyrie Irving to the East? Who we got Isaiah Thomas? We got Jay Crowder. Dude. Son, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Jay Crowder is not even a third of what the fuck Kyrie Irving is. As far as a basketball player. This is not about him personally or nothing like that. I don't know him personally. I'm talking about me as a fan as far as watching the basketball, watching basketball, the NBA. Like, and then Isaiah Thomas not even half the fucking player as Kyrie Irving. Or even as half consistent. So why the fuck? Would you pick up, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody who, all right, Kyrie barely plays defense as it is, and you go pick up a nigga who everybody scores on because he's so fucking small. Like, that's the shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody was excited. I was excited as a fan at first, but fuck that. Fuck that. Fire the whole Cleveland front office. Fire this, everybody in that motherfucker that made any decision about sending Kyrie to the fucking East or the Boston Southern's at that. Fuck him. That's why y'all about to be at the bottom of this motherfucker, or at least the middle or the bottom of this motherfucker this year, in the East. Garbage ass fucking niggas, man. But back to what I was saying, Jimmy B, you have every right to feel how you want to feel. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you feel that you're a leader and you want everybody else to step up. Man, I have no problem with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like Chris like Chris Carl was saying on TV this morning, it's not a t you know what I'm saying? It's a team sport, but it's not football. You know what I'm saying? Somebody would have probably bat him in this shit already. For talking stupid, or, or just, or just for like, or not even talking stupid. I'm sorry, I'm gonna take that back. For just, that's how football players is. We so competitive, and we're in such a a physical sport that you have to, you know what I'm saying. You have to assert yourself. You have to be aggressive. You have to make yourself, you know what I'm saying. Just wanna put your hands on other people and do, you know what I'm saying. Do and you know what I'm saying. Just be physical and outman him. You know what I mean. So as hard as Jimmy was going that day, I'm pretty sure there was other people that same day. If it was football, that'd have been going hard. You feel what I'm saying? And they'd you'd have clashed because if you'd have got me that round, me at the type of football, I want I want come on, go again. Fuck that. We stepping up right there. You know what I'm saying? So I understand why you know what I'm saying why why Chris Carter said that in football it'd be a whole different result. But in basketball, hey, is you know what I'm saying? Like they little the NBA's a little softer, whatever, whatever, whatever. Fuck. I would be a little softer too. My my contract was was guaranteed. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? NFL just really started doing guaranteed contracts. For, you know what I'm saying? For everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, bro, I, I, I don't have a problem with Jimmy B. You know what I'm saying? And how you, Jimmy Butler and how he, how he expressed himself. You know what I'm saying? You're frustrated. You you want the the world to know how frustrated you are with the organization. And you know what I'm saying and how they need to develop their players and how they need to get these boys to get on their ass, man. The expectation needs to get better. And I understand that, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially as a competitor. But it's your boy Tyron Hills. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Get in my comment section. Let me know what y'all think about Jimmy B's comments, about his actions, about that whole situation. And then, you know what I'm saying, go ahead and like this bad boy up. You know what I'm saying? Get this, I'm going to tap that like button for me right quick, and we'll get everything started. And if you're new, especially if you do subscribe to the channel, you know what I'm saying, we come, with, we come with content every day. We talk about everything every day, especially stuff we get knowledge on. You feel what I'm saying? It's your boy T. Hills. I am out.